Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Queen Queen and today we're going to discuss dual mining on non-LHR GPUs, uh, FHash and Lithium. Um, so basically, as you can see here, this is my rig right now. Uh, and just to avoid confusion, the GPU Zero Device 1F03 here, this is my RTX 12GB. Uh, it's just that for some reason they haven't updated so it recognizes as that. I guess because it's a bit of a newer GPU. These blue numbers basically means that I'm mi mining Lithium. And then also that I'm mining Ethereum here, the, the white ones. Uh, I'm doing it on uh, both 220 series here, and a 10 series, and a 16 series. Uh, as you can see, the result varies here, but of course that's the case with any kind of GPU mining. So with this said, um, I've just showed you, of course, that it's possible to do it on non-LHR cards. How? Uh, I'm gonna show you. So basically here we're gonna make a new flight sheet. Um, I've already got one of mine, I think it's this one, yep, that one. So you can see here as well which pool I am on. Uh, I don't know, I've just switched over to HiveOS, so this thing with pools, it's a new thing for me. Um, I'm kind of learning as I go. But anyhow, um, of course, uh, here to begin with, choose ETH. Then you're gonna put in your wallet as ETH, and then you're gonna select your pool. And just for um, video purpose, I'm gonna take the one I already have. You need to choose server here. Um, and then you just apply and then you need to select miner and in this video we're discussing dual mining on t-rex I think you can do it on lol mining here as well And then we want to put in the dual coin um, which is a lithium of course then your lithium wallet and Then your lithium pool which will be hero miners So and then we take whatever server you want and I'm in Europe. So I'm gonna take Germany um, and then the intensity I've seen some people uh, putting in numbers here, but I haven't done it. Uh, I don't know f for what reason people put in numbers here. I think that's more for LHR cards, I guess. Anyhow, this is non-LHR, so we don't touch that. And then what you need to do then is uh, to go into the setup miner config. And here you need to put in a command. Basically specifying um, what GPU you want to do a mine on. If you have multiple GPUs on your, uh, on your rig. Um, if all of them are non-LHR and you want to do a mine on all of them, I guess you could just leave this empty. But for me, for, in my case, I have this uh, command here, which is dual algo mode, and then it specifies what GPUs I want to mine. Basically, A12 means it's going to dual mine F and Lithium, and then A1 means only F. And then, of course, I will link to you this site right here, which explains it more. This is the GitHub for T-Rex Miner. It explains uh, these three different ones. And also, it has a really good example here, which explains many different scenarios. For example, I also tried out this one, which is A12H95, which basically means you still do mining F and Lithium, but it kind of specifies how much in ratio, I think, something here, whatever it says here. Um, I tried it out, it was less profitable in my case. It might be more profitable for some other people with other GPUs, but in my case it wasn't. So basically then, uh, I've just shown you how to do this. You just run the, uh, the flight sheet and it should all be fine. Of course, you're gonna have to set up whatever you need to do in pools, um, like register your miner, whatever. Um, of course, every, everyone has different pools and uh, you, ha you go about it in different ways. Um, so I'm not gonna... Um, cover that in this video. Then we need to of course discuss is this actually profitable? Is it worth doing? So as you can see here this is the hash rates I have right now while dual mining and I have uh, compared this to the, my old numbers um, and yes you do lose a little bit of F hash um, hash rates. You do. For example on the 1070 I lost a bit more um, by percentage and I think on the 2060-12 gig I lost very little. Uh, like 0 0.8 about. Um, but anyhow, I have compared all the numbers and here I have some different scenarios for you. Basically, um, this is uh, the numbers added together, what you're supposed to get in USD if you're paying 0.1 in electricity. 0.1 USD I think it was, but this is, doesn't really matter whatever currency you are at. Um, I'm just comparing here with the same uh, cards and I'm comparing the hash rates and also I am taking into consideration that I have higher the clocks a little bit here as you can see um, compared to the to the old picture I have higher the core a little bit and the power are a little bit higher and um, not that much at all but I have taken this into consideration then also here we have how it is when you're paying 0.3 USD per kilowatt hour whatever 
So yeah, um, no matter if you pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour or you're paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour, it should be profitable. Of course, you're gonna need to do this math for yourself and compare, especially if you have different cars than me, because then we're talking about whole different numbers. But yeah, in my case, it is profitable. And I would say probably in general, it is profitable if you do have some non LHR, uh, especially 20 series cars, since there are usually more uh, video RAM um, left over um, from the F hash algorithm and you can run Blake 3 algorithm on it. So yeah, I think that covers pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I don't do that m many videos about mining, but I like to do them and I hope to do more in the future. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, um, or you ran into some trouble setting this up, or whatever, if you want to just chat with me, or just comment what you think about uh, dual mining, or anything, just write down below, and please like and subscribe to get more content from me and to show your support, and guys, have a nice day and good luck mining.